We now learn about the addition rule for logarithms, which allows us to simplify logarithmic expressions. For instance, let's say we were given log base 3 of 7 plus log base 3 of 5. What the addition rule for logarithms lets us do is rewrite this sum of two logarithms as a single logarithm, and it would be the following. This would equal to log base 3 of 7 times 5. Notice that what I'm doing here is multiplying the two numbers we had inside each of the two logarithms to begin with. And since 7 times 5 equals to 35, this will equal to log base 3 of 35. And a more general way of writing this rule is as follows. The sum of log base b of some number a and log base b of some number c equals to log base b of a times c. Now do make a note of this result if you hadn't seen it already. It is essential when studying logarithms. And before looking at another example or two, let me point out something quite important. This law only works if we're adding two logarithms written in the same base. For instance, this first example we had at the top here, both logarithms were log base 3. If the bases are different, we would not be able to use this law directly. Okay, that being said, let's look at another example or two. Say we're given the expression log base 2 of 6 plus log base 2 of 5, and we're asked to simplify this expression. Well, we notice right away that we have two logarithms that are being added, and both of these logarithms are written in the same base, which in this case is 2. So, we can use the rule we've just learned to say that this equals to log base 2 of 6 times 5. And that's equal to log base 2 of 6 times 5, which is 30. And that's the answer. We've just simplified this logarithmic expression. Another example could be, we're given the expression log base 10 of 8 plus log base 10 of 2 plus log base 10 of 5. And once more, we're asked to simplify this logarithmic expression. Well, in this case, we can see that we have three logarithms that are all being added together. Furthermore, each of the logarithms is written in the same base, which is 10 in this case. So we can use the rule we've just learnt again, and we're going to work from left to right using that rule as we go along. Here's how that would work. We can state that this equals to log base 10 of 8 times 2 plus log base 10 of 5. And we can see that I obtained the log base 10 of 8 times 2 using the rule with these first two terms. This equals to log base 10 of 8 times 2, which is 16, plus log base 10 of 5. We now have two logarithms that are being added, both written in the same base, 10. So we use the rule again, and we can state that this equals to log base 10 of 16 times 5. And finally, that's equal to log base 10 of 16 times 5, which is 80. And there we go. We've just simplified this logarithmic expression. And so that's how the addition rule for logarithms works. And that's it for this tutorial.